Hi, my name is Jane Powell. Welcome to Community Connections, brought to you by the Greater Canal Valley Foundation. This is a show showcasing community involvement, and today my guest is going to teach us about girls in STEM. Please welcome Afrin Naz, PhD. Afrin, I am going to read your title because it is, I don't want to get it wrong. You are the regional co-director of the West Virginia Center for Excellence in STEM Education. You are also an Associate Professor of Computer Science and Information Technologies at West Virginia University Institute of Technology. Wow, you're a busy person. <laughs> yes. Thanks for so, having me here today. Well, thank you for being here. So today you're going to tell us about the Empowers program. Um, and I think everyone's going to be really interested to learn what you're doing and how you're helping girls love science. So let's just jump right in. Tell me about Empowers. Okay, so the, let me explain the name first. It's an acronym, Empowers. It stands for Establishing Mentoring Pipeline of Women through education and research in STEM. I yeah. see it's a long name, but if you look at the name, you actually, it tells you the whole story. It does. And anytime I explain our empowers about empowers, I always start with this personal story. My daughter, Hamira, she was two and a half years old. She announced that she's going to be the president of the United States of America. I love that, okay. And her brother, who was six at that time, said, yes, you might be the president, but not of the country, maybe a baking club or a book club. Ooh. So this is how it starts. For Amira, it was the brother. For some of us, it would be maybe another relative, uh, maybe roommate in college or colleague at work or maybe boyfriend, husband. It can be anyone. Even the loved ones, we don't understand that a comment like this can have such negative impact on the heart of a young girl or even an old one like myself. So we started Empowers. Our goal is to support the young girls from K-12 to college to all the way to a successful career in STEM. I love that. Thank you. Yes, that's great. So you mentioned that um, the P in Empowers is for a pipeline. Um, so we think of pipeline, I think of metal and, and, <laughs> and a conduit of, of a material but it is not exactly what your pipeline is. Mm. It is, uh, if you check it, is mentoring pipeline. So mentor. I will use this example. Let's say uh, I'll put myself in the pipeline at one end. So I'm representing workforce. Let me select one of my students, Jordan. She can represent college. Then maybe another student, we work with Neveha. She's actually going to George Washington right now, high school mm -hmm. student. Mm -hmm. Then I can pick my daughter, who is now in middle school and then maybe just a little girl from elementary. So you see, we already have elementary, middle, high school, college, and workforce. Now, when I'm looking at my career day-to-day -day basis, sometimes I need some advice, and I actually have some mentors. Like I have a mentor, she is at West Virginia University, Dr. Um, Melanie Page. Mm -hmm. I, anytime I need some advice, I reach to her, because think this way, not only I look at her someday, maybe hopefully I'll be, in that position, but at the same time, she went through all these experiences that I'm going right now, and right. she would be the best person to advise me. Same way, I hope my student looks at me as her mentor, and like many years ago, when I was a student in a CS department, I was the only female in the class. Wow. And unfortunately, it's still the same. Jordan is still the same like only single girl in the class. So definitely I have learned some surviving skills which I can mm -hmm. share with her. Same way uh, Nevaya, she is as I said in George Washington, she mm -hmm. works with Jordan in one of our Empowers program called Ambassadress, where Jordan being the first generation college student can help Nevaya, not only her, also her mom, how to apply for college or for scholarship. So she is playing the role of the mentor. Now, Nevaya, I have the opportunity to work with her. She's a wonderful lady. Anytime I go home and talk about her, my middle school age daughter said, oh, ma, she's so cool. I want to be like her. So this is how one person can play the role of the mentoring and then also learn from each other and support each other. That's the overall idea for Empowers. I love this pipeline. 
Thank you. That's wonderful. And, and taking it through someone's educational career is just a great idea. Because if you think about it, there are not that many successful STEM role models around, around the country or even around the world, yes? So whenever we have some support, we should utilize that. Yes, absolutely. So what made you get started? Um, it was December, not December, late 2017, um, NASA WV Consortium, Dr. Majid Jaridi. NASA? Actually, like, like NASA, NASA? NASA? Yeah, NASA. Wow, NASA. okay. So their um, director, Dr. Majid Jaridi, he actually convened a group of like-minded people uh, who are representing organization who supports girls in STEM. So in the first meeting, there were people from WVU, mm -hmm. West Virginia State University, Marshall, WVU Tech, Clay Center, Robert C. Bird Institute, and 4-H. Yeah, so everybody came to the table. Yes, and then Empowers was born, and pretty mm -hmm. soon uh, West Virginia Higher Education Policy Commission and West Virginia Tech Connect, they also joined. Now we are all working together. We are filling the needs, addressing the gap, and we are also demonstrating that the statewide unity and determination to create programs to support girls in STEM. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yep. So tell me about some of your programs. We talked ambassadress, dress, ambassadress. Um, we talked about that one a little bit, but tell me a little bit more about the programs that you're doing. So the one you just mentioned, I will not even try to <laughs> pronounce no, that. That's a tough word. <laughs> yes, it's actually a word from the Webster Dictionary. Because anytime you see the programs are called ambassador. Since Empowers is all about girls, we decided we will find the female version of the word. And mm -hmm. that was in the dictionary. I like it. So the program is, as I just explained, like Jordan, who is a first generation current STEM college student, mm -hmm. she will become the ambassadress of somebody who is in high school, who is also first generation. Mm -hmm. Being the first generation, it was challenging for Jordan. Nobody was there to support her to how to apply for college because she's the first one in her family going right. to the college. So she already have learned it in the hard way. So through this program, she works with other female students from whom she is just like few years away. You see, mm -hmm. like few years ahead of them. So they go to meet with these students, work with them, play the role of the mentor definitely, but at the same time help them with their math problem. And at the same time, any question they have about college application or any other application scholarship, they support that. Another program we have is called GIRLS, which stands for Girls Interested in Rapidly Learning Software. Girls <laughs> Interested in Rapidly Learning Software. software. I like so it. This <laughs> is a program for middle school female students. Um, this is a week-long program. We do like a workshop where uh, current university students and high school female students go and work with the middle school students. So mm -hmm. you see the pipeline is still there. Yeah. Uh, the ambassadors program is sponsored by um, American Association of University Women and NASA WV Consortium. And this in, uh, girls program is sponsored by NCWIT, National Center of uh, Women and Information Technology. Okay. Then another program, we mentioned the Rocket Girl. That is a program at West Virginia State University. That's also a day-long camp for uh, high school students. I would like to talk about one last program. Sure. Which is called, uh, we tried to follow the scientific path to come up with the name. We call it W to the power 4V. It sounds scientific. Yes, yes. it sure does. <laughs> like MC <laughs> Square. So how we came up with the name. If you drive at West Virginia, you will see the number plate, Wild Wonderful West Virginia. Right, our tagline. Mm -hmm. We don't want to be wild, so this one is Wise Wonderful Women of West Virginia. That's why we have four W's and V. In this series, we actually showcase, we have two different series. The first one is called Role Models where we will showcase somebody like Leah Curry, who is the president of Toyota. 
Of Toyota, that's yes. right. Mm -hmm. so she's wonderful. She's wonderful. So in this story, she's actually sharing her own story, how she grew up. So the whole idea is a little girl in Faith County or Boone County will look at her and think like, wow, if she can do it, why can't I? Mm -hmm. And then the same W4 series has another one called Mentor, where somebody like me or any current university students or anyone in workplace in STEM who works with the programs side by side with this K-12 kids. Wow. So currently we have this four programs. So if, um, if I had a skill and I wanted, and I am not a technical person, I am not a STEM girl, I'm embarrassed to say, but if I were and I wanted to mentor a student, how would I reach out to you? Could I do that through your website? Yes, and I want to specify here, even if you are not STEM, please reach to us because you are helping us right now, yes? So ladies in STEM, how would we would be successful when there would be everyone from business or from journalism, we, when we all work together? So yes, even if you are not in STEM, please still communicate to us because we don't know, you don't know how you can help us. So right now you're helping us, so something like this or somebody in a law firm, they can also help us. So anyone, even if it is not STEM field, if you're a female, please reach out. Thank you. And that, let me just, uh, the w website for volunteers or mentors would be empowers, with an S, empowersusa.org, there it is on the screen, um, would be a great way for people to reach out to become mentors. Um, tell me, what do you see the future of women in STEM here in West Virginia? Okay. Um. People look at the glass being half empty or half full, yes? Mm -hmm. Most people might tell you that in West Virginia, nationwide, we are 20, 49th in public health or 50 in income, always negative stories. But right. we always look at positive sides. If you look around, as I just mentioned, Tata, our largest manufacturing company, president is female. Mm -hmm. Mylan, our largest pharmaceuticals company, CEO or president. At my university, both provost and president, they're female. Then West Virginia University, the largest university of state, the provost is female. Mm -hmm. Higher Education Policy Commission, led by female. So when we look at that, we feel with 51% of total population being female, for West Virginia STEM, the glass is full of potentials. We just need to work together and work hard. I like it. I like the glass being half full, <laughs> even a little more than half full, right? Yes. That's good. Um, I uh, know that you have partners, and we talked about a lot of those, but uh, I hope the foundation has been a good partner to you. Yes. This is actually started, uh, it was uh, 2018. I was in a conference, uh, it was Take Connects uh, Women Conferation Conference. I was a, a panel member and I was talking about Empowers and Foundation President Dr. Foster was there. She really loved what we were doing. So later on I was contacted by the Foundation and we followed the protocol, like we submitted a proposal and earlier this year we are very excited that we secured a grant from the Foundation and we will start our new program. Again another acronym, Coverage, which stands for Clubs of VEX Education Robotics to um, advance girls' education. Wow. So I can just explain very briefly. We are working, this is the pilot project. We are working with Kanawha County, Faith, and Lincoln County. Okay. For each county, we will have at least one middle school and one high school involved. Those uh, schools, once a week, there would be a club with VEX Robotics. Now we will select the teachers who will also receive training on VEX Robotics during the summer of this year. And we will also have a parent night, so involve the st parents for the female students to encourage them. That's great. For their daughters to join the club. And then the goal is, once we have this training for activities in summer of 2020, Hopefully, we will have West Virginia's first girls-only VEX I love that, and I, I, I love that. I love the direct you're taking. I love that you're promoting STEM in West Virginia, and that you're encouraging women. Thank you so much for being part of our show today. And, and I encourage you. people to go to your website to share how they can help other women and girls in the state. And thank you for thank having me Thank you guys for today. being part of Community Connections, brought to you by the Greater Canal Valley Foundation. We'll see you next time.
And we also thank you, the foundation, for supporting us. And thank you for having us here today. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.